everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katrina and today we are doing a day in the life video. So as you saw from the earlier clips, I get up very early. I've always been a morning person for as long as I can remember and the first thing I do is get outside, get to the horses, make sure they're okay, give them their morning feed so this time of year they're getting a ration and mineral which that stays consistent throughout the year and then i let them out to graze during the summer they um the grass here in alberta is very rich and quarter horse geldings can get very fat very fast on that so they get let out to eat during the day and then at night they get put in a pen that has very little grass and so in the morning I let them out into the pasture and they can graze throughout the day. And then I came back, worked out, I had an upper body workout today which went very well and breakfast and now I'm just about ready to head out to work. So I am a CPA, I work in a public accounting office where I work as a manager. The office is about 25 minutes away from where I live so I will leave here around 20 after 7 to start work at 8 o'clock so I'm gonna finish packing up and head out for the day. Okay, so done work for the day. Does anyone else love getting into a hot vehicle? Like, I feel like this is, it feels so cozy in here right now. I'm sure it's like 25 degrees at least and it just feels super cozy. I love it. <laughs> and it's probably because I work in an office where the AC is going all the time and I'm always cold. Like, I always have to have long sleeves on because I get fr frozen in the office, so yeah. Feels really nice being in a hot truck at the moment. I had such a bad afternoon crash today at like 20 after 2. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get till 4 o'clock. I just, I crashed. So I grabbed a coffee, which I don't like to do because I feel like it's potentially going to mess with my sleep if I drink coffee like after noon. So, but... I had like, I don't know, three ounces of coffee just to get me through the last little bit of the work day and we made it. So I am going to drive home and head to the barn. So I'm walking to the barn and it is hot and smoky. It was super smoky on yesterday morning, I think. Like I woke up with a headache because I could just smell the smoke coming into my bedroom and then it cleared out but now it's kind of come back in again and it's just not great. I'll have to check my phone before we ride just to make sure the air quality isn't too bad. My cutoff is a 7 and I doubt it's that bad but we'll double check to just to be on the safe side. So I kind of made myself sick or felt sick this morning because my husband has his private pilot's license and he had flown out to Saskatchewan over the weekend to meet some of his family for his cousin's graduation and I was so scared, so nervous about him flying home and what the smoke situation would be like but he thankfully safely landed back at our local airport around noon today so he is safe and sound at home but yeah the smoke is no joke and if you haven't already check out my um, podcast episode that I did about just smoke and horses because it can definitely impact your horse their health for the long term and that's definitely not something we want for our horses so I'm gonna head to the barn and kind of 
assess the situation and go from there. on the cusp and it's also super hot out today so I don't think we're gonna have a spectacular ride today we're gonna take it pretty chill just to save our lungs and not die of heat exhaustion <laughs> as well uh, yeah just get a little bit of movement in and then call it good for today we have no big competitions coming up or anything like that so there's really no point to be pushing either of each other A few weeks ago I posted a video that me and Diesel were in like a training plateau I hadn't been making any progress and then I said I was going to go back to the basics with him to kind of just refresh restart our training program to hopefully like build up that foundation again and then kind of go from there but we're still in a plateau <laughs> my rides have not been great and like they're fine they're fine but they're not where I want them to be and so I've been toying with the idea of sending him for training there's a couple trainers that I have in mind and my tentative plan right now is to send him away once the ground freezes so like November ish send him away for two months or whatever we might decide and then just let him sit for the rest of the winter and then start again next spring. It, I have to swallow my pride a little bit when I say that because I was and kind of still am so adamant that I want to be the one to like finish him. I want to be the one to teach him flying lead changes and at this point I feel like I'm just wrecking my really nice horse and I do not want to do that. I want a very nice finished riding horse and like maybe this is just a funk but on in the other areas of my life I do have some pretty big life things coming up and it's probably going to exacerbate this plateau to be honest with you and so just the combination of being frustrated with where we're at and 
the anxiety of what's coming up in the next several weeks in my life is it's this perfect storm for me to be like, help, I need help. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna touch base with those trainers, see what they think, and then kind of just ride out the summer and fall here with him. And yeah, like hopefully this is just temporary, but at the same time, I'm not a professional horse trainer, right? Like I'm an accountant. <laughs> And there's people in this world that live fairly close to me who are way better at training horses than I will ever be. So why not take advantage of them? Especially in a season where I'm not really able to ride because of weather conditions. Like, why not, right? So tentative plan, swallowing my pride here. It breaks my heart to think that I might be sending him away because I just love tinkering with him every day. But I do have Junior here, so I can tinker with him when Diesel's gone. But that's kind of where we're at. It's not optimal, but it is what it is, so we're gonna go with that. And Junior's eating Diesel supper, so we'll end here. Junior, no. Back up. So I think I will end the video there. It's kind of it for my day. I'm gonna head back home, make some supper and just kind of chill out for the rest of the evening and probably send one of those trainers a message on Facebook tonight because yeah, who knows what their timelines are like and I wanna send Diesel to someone that I know and trust. I will disclose who it is when that time comes around. Yeah. It'll be for the best, I think. And like I said, I can fiddle in the meantime. And yeah. It really bugs me. I thought I could really train him, like do well. But I'm now I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't want to wreck my horse. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any similar experience like this, please put it down in the comments. I'd love to like know that I'm not the only one who is or has been in this boat. Um, be sure to follow me everywhere at Strong in the Saddle and until next time, remember it's always a good day to ride.